Hi, I'm Holly Lane and welcome to Life Unboxed. Today I'm going to be un enveloping um, something new to the channel and I hope you'll enjoy it. It's all about art. So if you want to see what's inside, um, stay tuned. So today we're going to be opening up the Let's Make Art um, envelope. Let's Make Art is a monthly subscription box where you get four art projects every month. It's $35 a month and every week they will send out a, or every week on YouTube they post a new tutorial video on how to um, do a different art project. So you have four art projects, one each week for each month. Um, they send you all of the supplies that you need. It's watercolor art. Um, they send you all the supplies that you need besides brushes and like a, a palette. Um, so I grew up with my mom who is a watercolorist um, and so I've dabbled in it ever so slightly but I am by no means an artist. Um, but I have always loved watercolor and I recently bought some brushes and some paints for myself but I feel stuck where I am. So or I, I'm afraid we'll put it that way I'm very afraid to put um, brush to paper so um, let's make art says that anybody can be an artist and they will show you how to do it so I thought I would test them out they were already sold out for the April box so but you can get um, one little kit for $15 that includes like one art project. So I chose one, um, I believe this was from March, and I fell in love with it. And so uh, I said, you know what, let me go ahead and try this out before ordering a whole month's worth and subscribing to the box and see what it's like and um, try it out. So anyway, we're going to open it up. It just comes with this nice little easy open tab there and we will open it up and see what's inside all right so this is the project that I will be painting I love birds I love nests I love eggs anything um, along those lines and I love the color of turquoise I love you know blue robin's egg um, color eggs so I, I love this project so it comes with the postcard um, for your project. I will open this up and see what's in here. And there's still some stuff in the envelope as well. Let's see. All right. Don't hold over there. So again, this is the, I guess I should turn it over. It actually goes this way. Um, this is the project postcard. On the back it says, let's make art. And then here you also have step by step instructions on how to paint it. Now, like I said, they do post um, their tutorials on YouTube and um, they even have a live like paint with me. So um, you can actually sit down and follow step by step live with them, which I think is really cool. I haven't tuned into those. Anybody can tune into um, their YouTube um, lives or watch their YouTube videos. Um, so basically on the back it has um, some little instructions and it says how to use your kit it says receive your kit in the mail do a happy dance yay um, go to the website and find your project and then you can click on the project and it will take you to the project page and then on the project page there's a series of colorful boxes and buttons which I guess looks like these except probably more colorful and um, then it says that there's two different tutorials the standard one and then the live paint along one just like I was saying so um, you can click on either one and follow along so also in this little envelope here is um, wow this is really good paper um, watercolor paper there are two sheets which I think is amazing and as you can tell it's nice thick I don't know what um, the pound rating is for this paper but it's it's really good quality paper um, like I said I do know a little bit about water coloring and the texture of the paper um, I believe it's the tooth any of you watercolorists out there if mom if you're watching you can chime in um, 
it doesn't have like a, a very large tooth it's it's fairly smooth but there is a, a good little texture to it like you want with watercolor paper and it looks like each side is textured differently so I'll have to figure that part out <laughs> I would show y'all but I I'm pretty sure it's not going to show up here in the um, with my lighting and then also there's a nice thick piece of cardboard to make sure nothing gets bent so I'm going to slip those back in the little envelope here so nothing gets messed up. All right. And then I believe inside the envelope still are my paints. Is that it? Yes. So I have a packing slip. I have a cute little card. It says, you did it. You decided to make art and I cannot wait to paint with you. You're going to be no, I great the, I, I, you're going to be great. I know it. I can read, I promise. Um, it says, you might be feeling a little nervous, but don't fret. I feel like I know you pretty well and I can easily say that you are, oh, blank reincarnated. And then it's got circled, let's see if I can. It's got circled here, Claude Monet. And then um, I guess the artist or whatever signed it at the bottom. That's cute. Um, I am no Claude Monet, I can tell you that. And then in this little um, bubble wrap packet are the paints. So I will open those up and show them to you. So I'm not going to do it right this second, but later tonight, or t I mean later this week, maybe tomorrow, I will go ahead and paint this and show it to you. So these are what the watercolors look like. Now I, th I, I assumed that they would um, be more like the watercolors I was used to my mom having, but these are very watery. Let me take one out. Um, as you can see, the you know fluid going, you know, moving around inside it. So um, these are not dried watercolors. They are not the ones in the tubes. These, they remind me of. Um, my brain's not working today. That's why I'm not going to be painting tonight. Um, they remind me of food dye, food coloring. Um, so that's interesting. But I will watch the video and. Um, see what you know what the instructions are I'll probably watch the whole thing through before I go ahead and get started I just I'm kind of a rule follower and instruction reader type of person so um, I like to know what I'm doing especially if it's something that I'm not super comfortable with um, before I get started so I will definitely be doing that and then I guess next time you see me I will um, show you how I'm painting this I probably won't um, record my whole little painting session because that would be forever long and um, y'all probably don't want to watch me screw up a ton so <laughs> Um, but I will show you dabbling at it and just kind of um, get the feel of what everything is like and and then I will show you my finished product so oops, sorry you can see my new bra there watch my previous video um, to see that opening but anyway I hope um, yeah we will just end it here because I'm going to be showing you the other stuff later <sighs> Okay, so I am back. Um, I said I was going to do my art project the next day and it's actually been a couple weeks, but I finally did get it done. I procrastinated for a little bit. Um, I was nervous to get started with it because I'd never actually, you know, painted with watercolor before. I've dabbled with it uh, because my mom's a watercolorist, but I'd never actually painted before. So let me reveal my project to you. This is my beautiful little robin's egg nest. And I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, I really thought that it was easy to do. Um, I just followed the tutorial. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, this little egg right here, the little kind of round one, I really wanted to... Um, look like it was standing up more than laying down flat kind of like the others but 
this is my first um, watercolor project and um, I just don't have the technique down yet to really make that happen to get those shadows in there to give it the depth that it needs. Um, also, um, just a little mistake on their part, they sent me a green color instead of black. Um, so I will contact them about that just to let them know. Um, but I'm not going to judge them just on that one little mistake. So I did have kind of a hard time um, making the same colors that um, she was using in the video tutorial. Uh, but thankfully, I do know a little bit about, you know, color mixing and, um, you know, like I said, my mom is a watercolorist, so I've watched her and listened to her talk about it a lot, and so I was able to figure it out. Plus, I, I have my own watercolor paints that I've just kind of played around with, not really used to do any actual painting with. Um, so I grabbed those out, and I was able to get what I needed. And um, overall, I am really, really happy with this, how this turned out. Um, like I said, the tutorial was really super easy to follow. Um, Sarah, the, the lady that teaches it, and I guess um, possibly created Let's Make Art, um, does a really good job of teaching the techniques and making it very simple and easy to follow. There were a few times that I paused the tu tu tutorial, um, you know, in the middle so I could, you know, work a little bit and then catch up, but that was not hard to do. I just set my iPad on the table next to me and just paused it for a second and then started it um, back when I needed to. So I am very, very happy with my Little Robin's Egg project. Um, I did go ahead and sign up for the subscription um, next month I'm really excited about what they have and I believe it's too late to sign up for May um, and I'll show y'all those projects when I get them in probably um, within the next few days I think I should get it because um, they do one um, you know tutorial every single week and so everybody needs to have their supplies to do their um, painting. So I believe I should get those pretty soon. I will show that to you all when I get it in. And um, I'm just really, really happy with how this turned out again. So anyway, I am really excited to get my projects for next month and see how they turn out and, um, you know, get a little bit more into watercoloring. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, I would really love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. If you like um, what you see here and want to see more unboxings of unconventional subscriptions, then um, definitely give me a subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I have a new video. I try to do at least one a week, um, sometimes more, so it just depends on what's going on and when I get the boxes in. Um, so anyway, I hope you know that you are beautiful inside and out, and I hope you have an amazing day. And thank you for joining me, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.